Hey, and welcome to my video. This is a totally different video that you are normally used on my channel. However, I thought it's unfair for me to be keeping all this for myself since I've took so much out of other people's video posted about the cruising. And the videos I watched were, were the deciding factor for myself and my husband to decide to go ahead and book this haven class on Norwegian Cruise Line. We totally love our car ride from Massachusetts to New York. It's really not that much. It was a lot of fun and our kids enjoyed their gadgets and me and my husband had a chance to actually have a nice chat about things that we normally on a day-to-day -day life, we barely can see each other and barely have time to talk. So we approach New York in a very early in the morning. We picked our boarding time really early. Again, as heaven passenger, you have the chance to pick a very early time. Even though your cabin is not going to be ready, the ship is going to be allowing you to go around in specific areas. Some of the areas are going to be block, blocked, considering that some of the passengers just barely got off and the poor crew members are running around like chickens with no heads trying to fix it. There will be a couple of areas that you would have a chance to spend your time. And the best part of, about traveling on Haven Class is that as soon as you finalize the check-in formalities on the dock, you're going to go into a lounge where you're going to have coffee, orange juice, snacks. And, and as soon as a couple of more other passengers are coming and the lounge is getting fuller, the concierge is actually coming and get you on a separate passage, on a separate pathway, and is taking you through a specific elevator dedicated to the Haven passengers. And they're taking you up in a Haven lounge. Right there, you're going to be welcome with drinks, you're going to be welcome with cocktails, you're going to be welcome with very friendly, smiley faces. Such an amazing welcome experience. You're going to be feeling so welcome. And it's crazy because I've been doing customer service for a huge portion of my life and right now we're traveling extensively we go through hotels we go through amusement parks we don't get that much of a warm welcome if you do experience the same thing please leave me a comment below i'm shocked lately to see how little smile on people's faces they work in customer service and sales everybody seems bothered by you being there and makes the customer feel so uncomfortable even though most likely the business survive by the client keep showing up and paying for the product and the service in my humble opinion after many years working in a cruising industry in customer service and also extended traveling experience with my family i think the entire hospitality industry has so much to learn from the cruising industry on top of the beautiful service the smiling faces you do have an amazing ship to go around if you do not want to leave your haven area you do not have to we do we do have very young kids they have to be entertained we do walk around with them a lot me and my husband we take our time while my youngest kid is going to be in a kids club and my oldest one is probably somewhere on the upper deck he's doing his rounds on the racetrack going up into the haven class it's so much more that i have never experienced in my life from the service in the restaurant to the facilities around to how little people are around it is not crowded at all As i already mentioned to you a couple of times already in the very first minutes of this video how amazing this experience was for all four of us and all in all our cabin wasn't, was in fact only about $3,000 more expensive than what we would have originally paid for the type of balcony cabin that we would normally pick, but decided this time with, with the latest savings that I was able to achieve. And if you want to know how I'm saving my money, please watch this video, which I attach right here. And also I will include it in the description below how I'm saving my money and and how we can afford vacations like this. It's amazing when you start saving money, you sit down and you write figures, when you know exactly where every cent goes, you would realize how much money you are actually wasting on a daily basis and how much money you could save to have this type of vacations. I do not recommend for you to buy expensive cars. These expensive cars are not gonna give you any joy. This, the expensive cars and the expensive shoe footwear and the expensive pocketbooks are not going to give you the experience that this kind of cruise with your kids are going to give you or with the loved ones. So this is where I'm coming from. This is where I, this is why I decided to post this video has nothing to do with everything else you're going to ever watch on my channel. 
More than anything, I just want to inspire you to start saving money. Stop spending your money on Lululemon's expensive pocketbook and expensive footwear that doesn't really give you anything. More than anything, the quality is disappointing and is going to break in a couple of wears. This is a lifetime vacation that you have with the loved ones and this is where I'm coming from. I just wanted to inspire you and show you that by saving the hard-earned money, you can really enjoy by being very frugal and knowing how to budget. I am a former employee. I have worked on Norwegian Cruise Line for about five and a half years out of my life. My husband as well, this is actually where we met. So I knew that all Norwegian Cruise Line has a Haven style class, but I was never able to actually see the inside of the cabins and the actual secluded area where the Haven passengers are spending their time. And so therefore watching other people's video with their experience, I have decided to book this Haven class. Even though as an experienced traveler, I have have cruised around the world as an employee and as a passenger. I know the cruise line inside out. I can tell you that this probably by far was the cruise and the vacation of my life. This changed the way I look at the cruise industry. This changed the way my kids are going to ever want to go for a vacation. It's really worth it. It's an amazing time. It is not crowded. And if you can afford extra couple of thousand dollars, if you budget carefully, and if you want to know how I budget and how I save everything, watch one of my videos. I will put the link in the description below how I got to a point where I can afford to pay for one cruise within three months of me just saving our income. And also feel free to watch my journey from going almost broke to saving somewhere up to $4,000 monthly and giving my kids an amazing lifestyle. Nobody's suffering. Nobody's missing out on anything. We just pay attention. We are more intentional with every single expense that comes out of our pocket. You go on board, you have everything you want, you go in couple of ports throughout your entire week. You get to chance so many places, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Everything you need for that vacation, for you to relax, have fun, enjoy, rest, it's right there at your fingertip. Why wouldn't you? However, I will just make a comment based on my personal experience on a cruise line as an employee and the warnings that we used to get in our crew area regarding specific destinations. I will never walk around with the backpack careless, leaving my wallet and my belongings unattended and out of my eyesight. I would never walk around with headphones on my ear, just listening music. I would prefer to be fully aware of my surroundings at all times. Wear comfortable footwear if you have to run so you can save your life. We did have sometimes crew members being hurt outside. I remember once, I believe I was in Honduras, where a crew member was robbed right outside a cruise ship, was stabbed, and we all panicked. So however, as a crew member, I know things can go wrong. You might be so excited and so happy to be there, but never relax fully and never expect for someone else to look after your belongings or uh, look after you. So you should be as careful as you are everywhere else. And even more, this is some unknown destination, some unknown culture that you are not fully aware of. So never go on a beach like Belize or Montego Bay or Ocho Rios or anywhere you pick in the world. Never leave your belongings and your valuables unattended. Never, ever, never, never. Especially with things these days can be planted, let alone you could be also robbed from your ID, from your key card, and you will have trouble coming back on board. You never know, right? So never let your guard totally down because you do not know who's going to be roaming around. So this is my personal advice, seeing so many things throughout my entire life as a crew member. And since then, we probably took over eight 
cruises only with Norwegian Cruise Line. Remember, Norwegian Cruise Line or any other cruise line will never take full responsibility what's happening to you ashore because when you are outside on your own, you are on your own. When you are outside of the boat, when you are ashore with a shore excursion, then you're going to be protected. They, then they're going to make the most of your vacation. Then they're going to be able to look after you and give you tips and tricks how to look after yourself. But if you choose to go by yourself without booking any of this shore excursion and you just want to adventure by yourself as far as you want to go or as close as you want to go to the, to, the, to the docking area, you need to be 200% aware of your surroundings at all times. If you have expensive watches or if you have expensive jewelry, I would totally encourage you to leave them in your cabin. You do have a safe. Just choose to walk around without anything that is too flashy. Remember, most of these islands are not as fortunate as the places you're coming from, and they might be triggered by your watch, by your expensive necklace, by your fancy camera, and you never know when they're going to want to grab it from you. This is my latest cruise experience. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got something out of it. Norwegian Cruise Line, it's an amazing cruise line and not because I worked so many years on it, but also because I know the inside out, I know how clean they are, I, I understand the standards very well and I know how things are done. I know how important the standard and keeping everybody happy and healthy it is for them. Again, I'm unable to compare with any other cruise lines. And I'm not here to sell you Norwegian Cruise Line. By no means, I have no benefit out of this, you watching this video, other than new experiences, experience Norwegian Cruise Line, Norwegian Joy through, uh, through my eyes. And on top of it, I was able to give a couple of tricks to keep yourself safe based on my lengthy experience as a traveler, as a passenger on Norwegian Cruise Line, and also as a crew member for over five and a half years. Uh, back in a day. Thank you very much for stopping by and if you have another minute go ahead and watch how I'm saving my money and how I'm able to afford this type of vacations and also if you are interested to learn how to sew your clothing feel free to watch any of my videos in my playlist. I do come up with some amazing things and I can tell you that if I can sew you can do too. I hope you go ahead and plan your vacation sometime soon. We all need to relax and have fun. Let our head down, put our feet up and enjoy the life. Life is short and we never know. If you did enjoy this video and if you did enjoy my storytelling, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for being here with me today. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and I hope you do going to take that lifetime vacation. If you do, come back and leave me a comment and let me know how it was. Take care. Goodbye.